Hey guys, it's Doug here. How's it going? Happy Halloween to you and yours. Hey, I wanted to do a Halloween video here for you guys. I know I've been MIA for like the last month and a half here. Just been super busy uh, at work. Everything's great. Don't worry about it. Um, but yes, just uh, super busy at work and I haven't really had much time for YouTube. But I've really been enjoying the Halloween season here. Doing a bunch of things. Going to Fright Fest, Pumpkin Patches, all my usual stuff. But anyways, let's talk about candles, shall we? Now, in addition to these being five of my favorite pumpkin candles, they're also just five of my favorite candles in general. And each one of these is by a different company, so kind of uh, showing off some different stuff. I figure I would limit it to one per company, even though several of these companies do have multiple great pumpkin scents, but I wanted to just limit it to myself for, you know, one from each. So these aren't really in any particular order, minus the last. The last one would be my favorite, you know, sentimentally. All right, starting here, guys. This is, uh, and sorry for the glare here. I've got a light here in my little studio, and uh, the way I've got it face, uh, facing, it's going to show glare on the glass. But this is Pumpkin Apple by Bath & Body Works. Uh, this is this year's version of it. Burn it down quite a bit here. And uh, kind of some issues with this candle burn-wise this year. But um, actually, as we're going to talk about, I've kind of had some issues with all of these candles. But I'm, I'm here more to talk about the scents, because candles ebb and flow how they perform each year. Um, you know how that goes. But um, yeah, anyways, Pumpkin Apple, I absolutely love this scent. This is a staple for me. Every, every fall, and it might actually be my favorite of these scents. Uh, the last one, which I'll talk about, has maybe a little bit more sentimentality, but if, if I want to talk about just the scents, you know, that I, I like, Pumpkin Apple here is amazing. And, um, you know, Apple Pumpkin by Yankee is also top-notch. But I give it to this. I think they are different enough, actually quite a bit different, even though, um, you know, Apple Pumpkin and Clove is what they're all supposed to be. I'm kind of cheating a little bit with this on the list because this is way more apple. This is a apple cinnamon candle straight up with a little bit of clove and a little bit of pumpkin but the blend that they have at bath and body works is amazing for this yeah man that's an incredible scent this one this year though um the wicks got real puny on it at the uh you know the bottom here um had a cotton ball and kind of just a weird scuzzy burn but again i don't really care this is uh i i always do this candle right and i know that many of you out there for sure love this scent this is super popular and as i, I mentioned with the hand soap the hand soap's amazing and smell your whole you know, your whole bathroom will smell like this so i love love bath and body works pumpkin apple all right for my next one this is colonial's jack-o-lantern this is part of the cobweb collection that came out this year uh, i know that some of you guys have had either mist pours or some kind of funky burns mine has been pretty good uh, throughout man i love this scent it's uh to me this is like a fruity pumpkin and uh, that's kind of what all of these scents, they, they have the pumpkin, but they have a different kind of fruit in it, right? That's, that's what you're going to wind up seeing here. They have just a little bit of variance in them, uh, but pumpkin is the base. And uh, again, this one is like a fruity, like a cherry style pumpkin, and I love it. I think it's um, pretty unique, which I really wasn't sure what to expect with this candle um, when it came out this year. The black licorice one is the one I was really excited to try, and uh, I love that one. And that one is the graveyard fog candle. Um, but... This one was great too. Now this was a strong scent too, kind of like the Bath and Body Works. So they're really, you know, really all on my list here. I have five candles and four of them are very, very strong throwers. So anyways, yes, this is a Jack-O-Lantern by Colonial Candle. All right, up here, Pumpkin Harvest by uh, Country Candle by Kringle. Love how this looks here. Great label on it. If you can see here again, sorry for the glare that's on the camera here. But, um, you know, I dig the, uh, dig the wax color. Great label on it. And to me... This is like a pumpkin squash buttery type scent. I don't think it's bakery or gourmand, um, but it does have hints of that in it. Very, very smooth pumpkin scent. It's it's light on the pumpkin spice. I don't consider it, you know, a pumpkin spice candle. Another thing with all these candles that I've got in my list here, you know, pumpkin spice is okay, but I'm not huge on it necessarily. I don't think it makes for anything unique, at least, you know, as far as candles go, unless you really put some other stuff with it. So none of these scents that I have here are really what you would call pumpkin spice, you know, the, uh, as it's, you know, the traditional uh, thought with pumpkin spice. They all kind of do a little bit different. So again, this is more like pumpkin squash, slight cinnamon, a hint of bakery, but it's a buttery candle to me. I get some butter in it. I know I'm kind of contradicting myself when I say buttery, but not bakery, but um, uh, it's savory. How about that? I think that works better. It's like a savory pumpkin cinnamon squash, just a very nice autumnal pumpkin scent. And... Um, this one here, while it was a little bit sooty, or has, has been a little bit sooty for me, uh, all the country candles kind of are, it is mega strong. I mean, you know, probably the strongest that I have in this whole group, actually, and most of them are strong. So um, if you've never checked this candle out, I would strongly recommend it. I think it's fairly unique, 
Um, I'm not aware of it being a dupe of anything. And again, it's not very pumpkin spicy. It's just a, a very nice pumpkin autumnal scent. So check it out for sure. All right, up next on my list here, Autumn Pumpkin by Homeworks. Now, this is the first year that I actually purchased this candle. It, it was uh, released last year. I actually tried it though last year in a diffuser form just to try the scent because I missed out on the candle. So uh, I put it in my bathroom and it was great. And so I wound up, I ordered the uh, pair of these. And um, this one you can see here, it's getting down there for it. Not the best burn on this one either. Had wicks that were pretty small on it, but um, the scent is fantastic. I mean, it's a knockout scent. And uh, you know, the twist on this one, you have like the pumpkin, the nutmeg, um, you know, those traditional things you find in a pumpkin candle, but you have orange on top. And the orange and the, you know, citrus uh, by proxy, it really, really spices things up and it gives it, uh, you know, that unique flair. Really love this candle and uh, love the label on this. I think the label here is the same as it was last year. But um, again, very autumnal. I uh, wish this one was a better burner, but I would buy this one again uh, just because of the, the scent is great. Hopefully, you know, the homeworks, I know that this uh, fall they've had some burn issues going on with the change to four wick. Hopefully that um, they kind of get that lined up here next year or whatever. But the, uh, the scent here, Autumn Pumpkin is fantastic. And I know from talking to some of my other friends, you know, big into candles, um, everyone seems to really dig the, uh, the scent of this. It's a, it's a really, really good scent. All right, guys. And last, but certainly not least, Pumpkin Wreath by Yankee Candle. Uh, I love this candle. This is my favorite candle. I mean, bottom line, this is my favorite candle. This was the first Yankee Candle I ever bought. Not this one exactly. I don't mean this jar of it. Um, but this is the first scent I ever bought from Yankee Candle. And uh, so I really can thank this for getting me into candles. This is so inviting. I mean, I would almost argue this is the most inviting candle you can buy. At least for me, a lover of autumn. Um, it's just tremendous what it smells like. Of course, it is pumpkin. It's got a nice base of pumpkin, but there's not much spice in it. Again, it's sort of like a, you know, I won't say spiceless, um, but it's sort of an authentic pumpkin with um, almost mixed like with a craft store. But you do have some cinnamon here, um, and I get like a nice hay or something, you know, outdoorsy. Uh, I would recommend you check out Shane, uh, my friend Shane, the candle enthusiast. He's got a great video talking about this. I think it's from a couple years ago now, but where he talks about the great pumpkin, which of course, the shirt here got to represent, right? Wearing this in all my Halloween videos. And now, hey, I got into Cracker Barrel earlier this year. I'm getting my money's worth out of it on these videos. So, uh, but anyways, uh, check that video out because um, he has a good look at it. And he's going to talk about it better than I can. Uh, but yes, it does remind me of like the Great Pumpkin. And uh, it is just, it's, it's so inviting. And look at the label on this, the old version of it here. Well, I say the old version. It actually doesn't technically, I guess, exist. It's retired. I know you can get it at outlets. Um, I don't have an outlet. You know, the nearest one near me is like two and a half hours though, so I really don't have one near me. And um, the scent on this one, not very strong. I mean, this is the one that's the weak one, right? It's a Yankee candle. I know you got to deal with the weakness that's going on with it. And I'm actually really not buying much Yankee anymore because of that. Um, but as far as the scent goes and sentimentality, this is um, this, you know, takes it for me. I absolutely adore this scent. And um, I actually have some tarts of it, you know, some, it's funny because some of us that are on YouTube here or even some of you guys in the community I've met, we've, I've done candle swaps with some friends, you know, and it seems like whenever someone is sending me something, if I buy something or if it's a trade, everyone puts pumpkin wreath in. So I guess the word is out on the street. Everyone knows how much I love this. I am kind of an evangelist on this sent on like the, uh, the Facebook groups and everything. It's just, um, I really can't say much more than pumpkin wreath. Super inviting pumpkin, very autumnal. It's like that pumpkin hay, uh, just fantastic and it really just reminds me of of the season so um, I would recommend getting an older pour of this if you can find it you know what and um, even if it doesn't throw throw this you know the greatest like a lot of the Yankees do the scent is just tremendous I think it's worth I think it's worth the risk to find one that does perform well um, because I have had jars of it before and I've burned multiple jars of this uh, some that did perform very well so and uh, you know I mentioned it once but I'll mention it again that label on there I mean come on how could a company go away from labels like that? I just, I just don't know. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Again, those are five of my favorite pumpkin candles of all time. I, I love each of them. Even if they had some performance issues, uh, I don't care because the scents are awesome. And with that, I want to thank you guys all very much for, you know, an awesome season. Basically, it started for me back in May with all the fall stuff when it started. Going through all my village reviews up to my, um, you know, my actual release and my, my village display video. And again, sorry for going in my A here. You know, in October, just been swamped with stuff. 
Um, I'm not going to do a bunch of holiday stuff, but I do have a couple holiday videos that are going to come up with uh, a couple buildings I'm going to review and a couple holiday candle videos for you. So I will be around. Uh, but again, I'll get back at it, you know, hot again when we get to next, uh, I guess, you know, May really when the, the fall releases start to, to come out again. And hopefully I won't get swamped in October with work. Again, thank you guys very much and have a very happy Halloween.